tip number one is recently added coins now to actually to look on this all you need to do is go to trending and look at recently added this will help you to find new coins that are mineable so you can actually mine a ton of them and then hopefully like you know hitting blocks and then sell them the reason why this recently added feature is really great is because only nearly the good projects get added to coin market cap now that's not a guarantee but that's a higher chance from a project that will never get onto coin market cap and will never get discovered and will never get volume so as you can see some of the coins in here can be mined let's look at this one of course i'm not sure to be honest it's a token so depends on the coin you're looking at depends on the market cap depends on everything okay for example card buyers is a mineable coin of course it still doesn't have a market cap or it's still not discovered and here it is listed on coinbridge and crex24 so for example as you can see these are some you know examples on what to mine Okay, and not really, you know, looking at these big coin, big coins like Ethereum and Zcash and others. So, use this feature to your advantage. Tip number two is low market cap coins which are mineable and have some volume. So we're talking about established coins, but not necessarily in the like the top hundred or the top two hundred. We're talking about coins like Haven Protocol, for example. Th this coin is mineable. You can mine it and at least recently 24 hours we had a pump that does not mean that you should actually mine it pumps and dumps come all the way maybe coins like stellite for example you have another example so coins which are established coins which are you know are ahead of the game and you can start mining them and still make some profit it's at least better than mining you know coins like raven coin where you have, for example, this is rank 627. Let's look for Raven Coin. Raven Coin is 156. It has more, you know, it has more market cap. It has more volume. It has more supply. Okay, supply doesn't matter to be honest. It has more support on other markets. So the difference between Raven Coin and other coins is that Raven Coin has a lot of exposure. It has more difficulty. So if you want to start mining Raven Coin, good luck. Okay, some people in the community are mining Raven coin and some of them have YouTube channels that I watch on daily basis. So the, take this tip again for your benefit. Now this tip is rarely talked about because this tip is actually really rare and is really hard to achieve. But if you can achieve it, you can be a real profitable miner in this community. Basically, what you need to do is find those people who are desperate in the community for cryptocurrency. People who are willing to buy cryptocurrency above its price. For example, if the price of Bitcoin is at $6,500, some people are willing to buy it at $7,000 without giving their passport and ID identifications to Coinbase or such companies. Maybe they don't like it, maybe they don't trust the system, maybe they just want to buy it for cash. Some people are willing to buy it for 5 or even 10% more. So if you can willingly achieve that, you can basically actually make more profit from these people. For example, another example, okay, if you didn't like this example, you have this Turkish Lyra thing, the Turkish currency, which fallen against the dollar back in August for 8%. For example, these people, okay, there were tons and tons of searches, okay, on the Google algorithm, okay, basically saying buy Bitcoin inside Turkey, okay, inside like the country. You can use that to your advantage, make some money from this. You can sell it to the people there. A lot of people have been like complaining on Reddit, like the residents of this country, okay, have been complaining that the bank is not taking their currency there have been people like having problem with exchanging it okay so you can benefit from this way but some people are going to say this is like you know like unethical or something but at the end of the day it is business i believe it is business okay if you deal in in it in that way okay and i have dealt with a lot of people who actually give five or even ten percent more above the price if they want to sell you for cash so it depends on who you buy it from and as you know as a miner as a people who 
are mining who are getting some coins as if you are just mining like you know valuable resources out of the ground and go selling it around the world around the markets it's just business that's what i believe in Thank you.